Hello everyone. A few days ago, something incredible happened. A star exploded in space, and it's now threatening to take over all of astrophotography on YouTube. And then the unthinkable happened, and the star destroyed Romulus. No, try again. And then the unthinkable happened. Every astrophotography channel on YouTube started taking pictures of it. And I'm going to do the same. So tonight, we're going to see if a 6-inch SCT can photograph the new supernova in M101. The new supernova first was observed around May 19th and is designated SN 2023-IXF. It exists in one of the arms of M101, the pinwheel galaxy. Hey everybody, it's coming on. <clears throat> hey everybody, it's coming up on 1 a.m. I thought my scope was running pretty well when I came downstairs to check on it just now, and I noticed that PhD2 had utterly failed. It had stopped tracking uh, my right ascension completely, and had just gone wonkers. So uh, in the end, I couldn't get any of the corrections to show, which led me to believe that. Uh, it just wasn't correcting anything at all. My declination seemed to be fine, um, but my right ascension was just heading off after a while. Uh, now my polar alignment was pretty good, so that initially the um, uh, initially the error wasn't all that noticeable, but it compounded over time. And uh, I think I lost about 20 minutes worth of, of exposures that I can't use at all. Uh, anyway, I've reset uh, PHD2. It seems to be running fine now with a total error of about one. Uh, my scope is running. And I've got a, a capture plan going that alternates between different uh, gains with uh, 60 second, 360 gain, initial exposures just to uh, capture anything at all, and then uh, a more reasonable 240 and 120 gain, uh, three minute exposures each as the, uh, as the moon, which is a waning gibbous right now, uh, as the moon goes down. So um, I'm gonna let this run for the night, and uh, I'm gonna check back on it in the morning. tracking gave me a little bit of a scare. I still have no idea what happened with it, but I suspect that something glitched between APT and PHD2. I had to shut down PHD2 altogether and restart it. When it came back up, the correction started to show again, but the graph would not move in APT, so somehow that connection was lost, uh, which was fine for me for last night. All in all, I was able to get about uh, five hours of time on the galaxy, and after processing, that translated to three hours and 20 minutes of signal time. Uh, what I ended up doing was uh, taking different gains of uh, different lengths of exposure over that time. So I alternated between 60 second, uh, 360 gain, uh, and then three minute, 240 and 180 gain uh, pictures in order to uh, be able to get enough uh, data on the galaxy. And then I processed those uh, in Deep Sky Stacker, and then I ran them through Cyril to extract the stars, and then I processed them through GIMP. In the end, I ended up with something that looks better than my last attempt at capturing an M101. And lo and behold, I could see the supernova. Um, it doesn't look like much. It looks like a, a little uh, star that uh, wasn't there before. Uh, but it's kind of cool. 
you know, you, uh, you don't get a chance often to participate in something that just only recently happened. I mean, it was uh, about uh, 10 days ago that uh, the supernova exploded. That's just 20 million years and 10 days ago, fairly recent, uh, but uh, still pretty cool. So glad to have done it and uh, I got a better picture of M101 out of it as well. And I think the big question coming up out of this entire experience is uh, anyone who's been gathering light on M101, do you now have to throw out all of your old frames and start over now that there's a supernova in play? Thanks for watching and clear skies.